Let's do one over x. Math is like a second language to Campbell Rutherford. I'm a standard nerd, I guess. But she sees the equations in a different way. I have an eye condition called Labor's congenital amaurosis, um, or LCA for short. For 19 years, she hasn't just adapted, she's excelled. That's just me. I like to learn a lot. From one keyboard to another. About 70% of people with my eye condition have perfect pitch, and I'm one of those people. <laughs> Not to mention, through a screen reader, she can listen to 550 words a minute. It's kind of a, a competition among blind people to see who can read the fastest. Classroom curriculum didn't come without challenges, though, for this Jefferson County native. It's just a somewhat broken system when it comes to getting accommodations and distributing funding and, and all of that. At an early age, her parents realized the resources available in the public school system were up to par, so they homeschooled. And we still received textbooks from the school system in Braille. The technology she needed came later for her than it would have for a seeing student. Once I got the assistive technology training that I needed, I was a junior in high school, and my instructor said, there's so much that you're going to have to learn that you might need to take a second senior year. Through online learning and in-person classes at Pellissippi State Community College, Campbell got the instruction she needed. Pellissippi's disability services is phenomenal. She got hands-on with subjects like science and calculus. So he 3D printed these models for me. My professor, he says that I taught him to see calculus a different way, but I think he was already doing pretty good. This lifelong learner is looking toward the future. I'm headed to Harvard in the fall. Um, I'm still a little bit in shock, I think. She plans to major in applied mathematics. I would like to pursue either biostatistics or cybersecurity as a career. If given the option, she says she wouldn't change a thing. Senior Campbell also has a lot to learn too, but Maybe elementary school Campbell would have been proud. Maybe she wouldn't have believed it either. That's the way she sees it. In Knoxville, I'm Katie Inman.